Welcome to October's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is clone graph. Given a reference of a node in a connected undirected graph, return a deep copy clone of the graph. Each node in the graph contains a value for what it represents and a list of its neighbors. So they give you some details about how they want us to do it. But long story short, we have this connected graph. That means that we could travel every single node from any node on and we want to rebuild each one of these nodes as well as its neighbors and then return that. Okay, so the very cheeky answer to this is how would I do this in real life? Well, I would use deep copy, of course. I would use copy, deep copy, and just return that. And out of curiosity, would this work? Um, absolutely, it will work. So there we go. But obviously, this is never gonna fly in an interview. They want us to actually do, do, do this manually. So let's think about how this might be done. Uh, let's look at this example here with our adjacency list. It's a little bit confusing how they described it, but basically each one of these lists represents the neighbors and each index number is gonna represent the node itself. It's, it's gonna be one indexed, so this is actually node one, node two, node three, node four. So if we did this recursively and did a depth first search, what would happen? Um, well, we can imagine that we might start at the first node and then travel to neighbors. So this one goes to two. Okay, we go here. Now this one needs to travel back to one. But say that we had some sort of set that said, okay, only go to the ones that we haven't seen. So then we would skip to three, then we'd skip to four. And great, now we have four, we've seen everything. Let's initialize our node here. But there's a problem. Uh, and the problem is, yeah, we can initialize our node four, no problem. But what about its neighbors? one and three, uh, those are still up in the stack and they haven't been initialized yet. That's a problem, right? Because how are we gonna reference those if we haven't initialized those? So that's kind of key concept here, number one. We have to initialize the reference to the node. And unfortunately, we'll have to do that without its neighbors first. So basically what I think we'll do is do a depth first search, but we'll initialize the node itself without any neighbors um, and we'll build up this neighbor list fresh using our depth first search and uh, using our, uh, we're gonna use a dictionary to see if we've seen it before. And if we have, we can use that dictionary to see where it's referencing to. So that way um, we could just add to our new neighbors list, the node that we initialized and just build up the neighbors new like that. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's. First, start with um, a base case. If not node, we'll just return nothing. And we'll write a helper method here. We'll say, call it depth for search, and we'll pass in the node. Do I need to pass in the set or the dictionary? I don't know. So I think we might have to. So we'll do that. And let's go to this here. What we'll do is initialize a scene dictionary and this is going to have a key value of uh, the key will be the value of, of the node and then the value will be the node itself okay so we have this step first search the very first thing we want to do let's initialize our node so uh, we have our node class here call it new node we'll say node let's initialize our node dot value Right. Okay, now we want to build up its neighbors. But the question is, have we seen this or not before? So let's go with four n in node.neighbors if the node has been seen. If it's not in scene, then we need to recall our depth search. So if let's say n.value not in scene then what we're gonna do is we're gonna recall our that first search, pass in the neighbor node and also the scene set. So that reminds me, we need to add it here then. So what we'll call it is the node.value will be the key and this new node is now gonna be the reference. Okay, so we actually need to build up our new neighbors list here, right? So we'll call this new neighbors, just be an empty list. And what we're gonna do is append Whatever gets returned here, which is going to be the node. Uh, if we have seen it before, though, we're just going to append 
from our scene dictionary this node value and append that to our new neighbors. Finally, we'll update our new node. This was empty before, but now we're going to make it equal to new neighbors. And you can also write a, well, actually, I don't know if you can, but it'd be nice if they had a function for it here. And finally, just return that new node. And isn't that everything? Let's see, return the first search, pass in the node, pass in, uh, yep, pass in the scene set. And this should return our original new node, but it's a copy now. So let's make sure this worked. Ah, oh, looks like it did. Submit that. And accepted. Great. So what is the time complexity on this? Oh, um, I, what is the time complexity? I think it's N, which is number of nodes times the um, number of neighbors. I think that should be it. As far as memory goes, well, it'd be the same n times, let's call it k, because we need to obviously rebuild all these guys, so they're, they're copies. Okay, that's it. So thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.